Today we're going to talk about the remainder theorem, this thing, and then basically how to find the remainder so far, so far like a function. So a function is something like this, x, x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 6 divided by x plus 3. So this is a function right here. We're going to find the, rem the remainder for it. We, we all know how to find a remainder for like a regular problem, but this is hard. So then let's see how we can do it. This is a regular way someone would think about doing it. This way, I mean, it works, but in some problems it doesn't because it's kind of a hard way to do it. So let's do it this way first, all right? Just like regular division. Don't overthink some of the things on it. Bring the x down, just like regular division. All right. This is how we're supposed to do it. Minus six x. At this point, it leaves you with the seven x. Bring the six down. All right. Gonna put seven right here. At this point, you found the remainder. Goes negative fifteen, right? This is the remainder. But we're gonna do it with the different way. This way it always works, no matter what the heck you're doing. So here we're gonna do this. So We'll still put fx equals right here, put the dividend, which is x, this thing, plus x, plus 6. This is a dividend, right? And I use, and then after this, after you put x, this is a r. But let's see what the R is. If we can get the same answer as over here. So let's think about this, all right? X. What should X be? Like, so here's the thing that you need to know the most, all right? X plus 3, right? You must make X 0. Like, you must make not X 0, but like this thing. X plus 3, you have. It has to be 0 for this to work. So, so whatever the thing is, whatever it's, so like pretend, so like if it's x plus 3, x has to be negative 3 to make it 0. So x has to be some negative 3, all right? And then, for example, if the thing is x minus 2, x, ha x has to be 2. Like, you, x has to be, has to be something that makes x plus or minus whatever 0. Then x, after you know that x is 3, just plug it in. And that's the thing. That's the remainder. That's negative 3. Not 3. 3. This is basically it right now. So this is basically this, but plugged in with negative 3. Right now... Negative 27 plus 9, 30 plus 6, minus 30 plus 15. The answer you get is negative 15. So this always equals to this. Just, just remember that this x plus 3, or whatever it is, it could be x minus 2. It has to be, so this equals 0. It has to be 2. It has to be like negative 3 right here. So after this, just plug it in into the dividend, basically. Plug it in into the dividend, and then you can get the remainder. And that's it, so on, so on the remainder theorem.